And let's go now to Miami for our segment, Facebook Friends or Facebook Amigos. ABC News Exclusiva now has a Facebook group, and members from there will join us here from time to time because, of course, everybody has a story to tell. Today, Todd Edwards is with us. Uh, he's joining us. He, he's, I'm looking at his Facebook account right now, and I'm seeing him in Miami. How are you, Todd? Thanks so much for being with us. Uh, my pleasure. Thanks. Todd, tell us a little bit about your story. You're a high school teacher and a poet. First, tell us about your teaching. Sure. I teach special education at Barbara Goldman High School here in Miami, and it's a wonderful experience. Uh, I teach writing, actually. And you teach uh, special ed there, I see from, again, I'm, as I'm talking to you, I'm also looking online <laughs> at your Facebook account. Here you are with some of your students. Acronyms, uh, you've told me, Todd, are a tool you use in the classroom uh, to help students memorize facts, but you've also used them in your poetry. Tell me about your poetry. Sure. Well, real quick, um, in the classroom with the acronyms, what I do is I help the kids writing. We have the FCAT, which is the assessment test. That is the tool that we use to measure, um, for at least for high school purposes, it's their exit exam. I work with them with writing. What I've done is, with the acronyms at least, is I incorporated a strategy here, QAE 2P3C. This helps them remember how to write, in this case, say an opening paragraph. Um, they have a prompt and then they write the paragraph. Todd, and I have to interrupt you because we, we are short on time. So we understand you okay. help your students memorize things with the acronyms. Tell me quickly right. about those poems because you use that for sure. poems you've written for Elton John, Oprah Winfrey, Martha Stewart. Well, what I do is I have an example here for you. What I've done is I've created and branded a writing style called reality rhyming. What I do is I take a person's name and then I get background information about the person and what they are is their emotional experiences, their personalized gifts, really for any occasion. Um, this is the first one actually that I've ever done. It was for um, a baby shower and her name is Isabella. So what I do is I take the person's name, in this case Isabella, I-S-A-B-E-L-L-A, -L -L -A. each letter of the person's name starts the sentence. All right. Um, and, and then you write inspiring poems. And I want to take a look at some Correct. of the video, if we can, of some of these beautiful frames. If we can roll it now. There we go. Uh, sure. Todd Edwards, our Facebook friend. Creative Works is uh, the company. And Reality Rhymes is what you do with these poems that, like we've said, Elton John, Oprah Winfrey, they all have one. Todd Edwards, our Facebook friend, thank you for coming on from Miami today.